Hey guys, I'm Isaacano25, and yeah, uh, I'm doing a video involving Pokemon Top 10 Kalos Region Pokemon that I like. If you don't like them, that's your own personal opinion, you're allowed to agree upon that, but I like these Pokemon and I think they're good. Now, first of all, I did not pick any of the Kanto Pokemon, I did not pick any of the Mega Revolutions yet, they don't count, because they're old Pokemon, not new Pokemon. I just thought, thought you all might need to, you know, know that. Let me specify it for you because I did not want you to get confused. So, without further ado, I will show you my top 10 favorite Pokemon from the Kalos region. Okay, my first Pokemon is Av 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 Avalanche. I think it's Avalanche is how you pronounce it. Avalanche is a ice Pokemon. Now, his first form is pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of a spiky little thing. I don't really have any basic information on him, but as you can tell, he's like this big glacier thing. I mean, avalanche. It's kind of like a big avalanche. Avalanche. Ha, oh, see what I did there? Okay, probably didn't. But anyway, he, he's a good Kalos Pokemon. I like him. Uh, I have not seen a Pokemon like him in a while, actually. So he's kind of like a turtle that's an ice Pokemon. I think it's very cool. Uh... I'm not really used to him though. I, you know, some of these Pokemon are a little bit weird. Okay, on to our next contestant. Number two for one of my favorites is Ayuma. I don't really know if I'm saying that. Amir, Amira. Okay, Amira is a ancient Pokemon, which was restored from part of the body that has been frozen in ice over t 100 million years ago. Uh, this is another ice Pokemon. I understand. I just picked, obviously, two ice Pokemon that kind of represents my name a little bit. Uh, but anyway, I like this Pokemon. Even its se its second form looks a lot better than the first form. But the first form is just the one I wanted to pick because when I first got it, I was like, Oh, wow, look at that. That thing is awesome. And it learned some amazing special ice moves and it has its own special abilities. And it actually surprised me. And it's also a good trick to use against your friends when they think they got you with a water type Pokemon. Teach this Pokemon electricity type moves. On to our next friend, which is... Finnegan! I love Finnegan. Okay. This is the one I actually really love and which is... Probably would be one of my number ones as of the moment. Finnegan is our Fire Fox Pokemon. And Finnegan is just one of those Pokemon I... Wow, as a starter? It throws off a big Gen 3 for me. Even its last... Evolution Dale Fox. Sorry if that spoiled anybody's things there. Uh, Finnegan <laughs> is found eating twigs, fills, uh, fills it with energy. Oh, eating twigs fills it with energy. And its uh, roomy ears Ew. give vent to air hotter than 390 degrees. Holy crap. Uh, this Pokemon's height is one. 04, which is probably like one foot and you know that little thing and it probably weighs about 20 pounds very nice Pokemon uh, I like it I, I think they should definitely wow for a starter like this this is a very nice starter just like our next Pokemon is a very good Pokemon as well ooh what is it I don't know shut up stop speaking British no anyway next one just like I said Froakie. Okay, everybody obviously doesn't see that coming if you know who I am. Uh, Froakie is a water type Pokemon which I actually enjoy. Wow, I enjoy a water type starter for once which was very hard for me. Uh, but the bubbles around its neck is like its own little special ability in general. And I can't really give you much information on him because, well, I don't own a Froakie now do I? But as you can see the little bubbles around his neck actually is like a protective thing. It can be very handy for him in general uh i like him he's a good water type uh and i mean he's like a ninja i mean come on a ninja he's flipping ninja man what on to our next pokemon next pokemon here is han edge i don't really know if i said his name right but han edge is a blade pokemon as you can see uh maybe i can point it out with my little arrow key he's actually in a halt and that is not the Pokemon. This whole little spit piece right here. Not the Pokemon. Right there. There's his eye. And he is the blade in general. This is the Pokemon. 
the rest of this here is not the Pokemon, it is just holding it. Which I found to be very amazing and I love it. I think it's a great idea. As I said before, I can't give you no basic information on him either. But you do need to know his evolutions are quite amazing. Uh, he is one of the newest Steel type Pokemon. And, I mean, just look at him. You can already tell there's potential in that little fake face of his. On to the next Pokemon. What is the next I don't know. Why don't you give your own opinion? Okay, and there's our next Pokemon, which is Sylveon. Oh my god. So many people have complained about Sylveon. But, well, not really complained too much. But, Sylveon is, wow. Uh, once I had figured out Fairy-type Pokemon, and what they can do to Dragon-types, they make Dragon-types just look sad. I'm sorry. Sorry if anybody's offended by that. But my Sylveon is already level 80 something, which is crazy. All the Pokemon I've had, and I didn't get a Sylveon until at least my fourth gym leader. And wow, I mean, it's, it's just so, it's so off, uh, as I would say. It's in Smooth Aroma, ooh, from its ri ribbon like flails and charm fights. Claim fire, oh my. Okay, so pretty much, uh, Sylveon's like one of them Pokemon, well, while in battle with Sylveon, if your Sylveon's a girl, it, a boy Pokemon might fall in love with it, because Sylveon's very sexy, apparently. Okay, well, I didn't want to, yeah, that's, that's some information, if you didn't know. Uh, okay, let's go on to our next Pokemon, shall we? Okay, Meowstic. Okay, well, Meowstic is, uh, that is the male and female. Uh, the wider one is the female, and the purple one is the male. And I don't really have any basic information on them either, don't judge me. Uh, that's too lazy to look up information. Uh, anyway, from looking at them, there's obviously a psychic cat, which I really like. My rival has several times used this, and Meowstic is just... It's just something new, I mean, even both of the... You know, obviously I'm liking the different genders here. Uh, you know, between the female and the male. I think, but it, they don't have their own Pokedex log, which I think should. I mean, even though they're the same Pokemon, they obviously look different in their own similar own ways. And Meowstic is just a unique Pokemon to me that's a psychic type. And I would like to see more of it. I mean, I, I may even add Meowstic to my team, but for now, we're just going to go into the next Pokemon. Okay. Uh, here's Panchamp. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. Panchamp is the English dub name for this Pokemon. He is a panda fighting. Whoa, panda fights. Uh, anyway, I like the little leaf design in his mouth. I think that's very awesome. But I knew people would probably be mad at me if I didn't add him in my top 10, maybe. I don't know. I'm not really a top 10 person, just on occasions. Uh... But I like him. I don't really have much information on him either. But just by looking at him and judging. You can obviously tell this Pokemon is determined. I mean. He obviously wants to win. <laughs> at something. Anything. And uh, a bunch of people would probably use him. I, I do see Panchamp being a Pokemon people will end up growing on. And loving in the future. To the next Pokemon. Do it quickly before I bore myself. Next Pokemon at number 9. We have Frixie. Or Sprit Spritzy. Oh my, I said Fritzy, didn't I? Spritzy is an awesome Pokemon to me. Even though I have not found Spritzy. So I really can't tell you much on it. Uh, Spritzy is one of the first Pokemon I've seen when the anime came out. And I love it. For fairy types, I mean, it's a classic fairy, tellish looking Pokemon. And, I mean, look at it. It is a little bit weird. But if you ever use the Pokemon, I'm pretty sure it'll be very powerful. Mostly because of the fairy. The regular fairies are very good. But the fairy and grass Pokemon seem to make it a little bit easier to take them down. No offense. But, I mean, it's a very nice Pokemon. And I very well enjoy the design on it. I mean, it is something I ain't seen before. But it kind of reminds me of a... How do I put it? Like a... Oh. Write in the comments if it reminds you of anything. A Flamingo! There we go. I done figured it out. To the next Pokemon and the last... 10th Pokemon of my list. Okie doke. And for my 10th Pokemon is Vilveon. Ooh, I actually got that one right. Okay, Vilveon is, as normal, one of your first bug-type Pokemon you catch. And I don't really know if it's Psychic because I don't 
if she had the log for it, I will have the log for it one day. But, as everybody in the Pokemon world wanted to know, the 666 Pokemon in the Pokedex is Vilveon. So Vilveon is the number 666 Pokemon in the Pokedex, which kind of made everybody go, oh my god, we was expecting something demonic. But it is kind of funny, and you can get a good laugh out of it after looking at Vilveon in this picture. I mean, come on, it's the 66 Pokemon in the Pokemon Dex log of the National Pokedex. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know why, I just, I just love it. Okay, well, I, I guess that's it. Uh, if you like this video, you know, yeah. No, well, actually, I'll probably just go back to Minecraft, wanna? Let's go back and see how Ice is doing, shall we? Okay, guys, well, as you've seen in that video, that was my top 10 favorite Pokemon in the Kalos region. And I hope you liked the last one because, face it, that that was pretty good. I, I have to, ow, ow, I have to hurt myself. And, if you, you know, I, I hope y'all all enjoyed it. It This video was pretty easy for me. Uh, some of my videos, it's been getting a little harder. Sorry for the close-up there. Sorry for my super close-up. I just wanted to see. Oh, smell great today. Oh, you smell so good. And comment if you like my Pokemon skin. This took me a while to do. Wow. Would not believe. It's probably the skin I'll just stay with. Also, I'm tra trapped in a jarred world. You can't look in the very background of my head and stuff. Uh, so this is going to be out probably one of my new series. I'm going to try finishing it off. As you can see, I've already, like decimated this place anyway i will see you guys later i'm isaac in 025 and i hope you all enjoyed this video and for more pokemon stuff i will probably release one later in the week or maybe two weeks from now for the top five mega evolutions if you have any mega evolutions you want to see in the see in it put it in the comments i'll have especially more information on them okay well i'm out see you later ship lords oh that, that was a little bit Ironic. Okay. Well. Anyway. Uh. Yeah. I. I. I think I'll just see you guys later. Bye.